Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we'll create a model and how we apply load on it and how we'll check our models. So, in this video, I'm going to show you that how we'll analysis and design for that and if there have any problem and how we'll pass that. Okay? So, let's start and before starting, if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And also, after finishing the video, if you think that that is helpful for you, don't forget to share and like our video. So, first of all, I will open our previous model. So, that was our previous model. You know that if you are following me. So, after that, this is our model. And uh, actually, we'll go for we'll go for analysis. Okay. So we'll go for analysis. Now, before analysis, um, in our previous video, I've shown you that for our model. If I click here, so it's showing uh, when we have created and validate, it's showing some issue here. Okay, so there have some panel where uh, it's showing us uh, some problem, but this not a there have no no one if there have cross that means that is a, that was a big issue but this is warning okay this is not actually any problem this sign represent the warning and uh, when you will show here as a cross sign that means it's a failure so if i click here just see here it's showing us it's showing us a improper management uh, it's showing us for that that one okay for that portion it's showing us that because uh, we have provided that beam I mean here we have provided extra beam but according to ACI code um, this beam and beam length and depth ratio shouldn't be less than 8 point um, I mean uh, shouldn't be less than 4 I can okay I mean a span length and depth ratio shouldn't be less than 4 that's why it's showing us but uh, we, we don't provide here any beam or anything actually we have just extend our beam little bit so this that is not a big issue okay so i'll escape that and after that this is our model i'll close that after that i'll go ahead analysis okay so click here analysis linear okay or also you can click here After that, our model have analyzed and just see here there are no warning. Okay, I'm uh, sorry, there are no failing. There have no fail. It's showing us just some warning. So that's not a big deal. And our, all of our column and also our maximum elementor being passed. The green uh, represent the passing of our failure and uh, that color represent warning not failure okay warning so after that so here after that we'll go ahead design and uh, from here we'll go for design but before that we'll go setting and here uh, we'll go here in concrete so in concrete so reinforcement parameter has the uh, reinforcement parameter and actually I'll go directly first of all for beam reinforcement setting here is the reinforcement setting okay so what will be the reinforcement for our beam you can change it from here okay and after that uh, detailing setting from here also you can setting uh, create a detailing setting then here is strap also for strap setting you can also change the strap setting from here and similarly for uh, reinforcement layout for column for wall here for slab this is for slab you can give here your minimum min maximum reinforcement size and uh, the minimum Clear spacing 
the minimum spacing slab auto design then uh, the maximum principal bar spacing so from here uh, you can give anything after that here also you can give the depth the minimum depth okay so is the patch so you can change your that element okay design ordering so specific concrete here is the design ordering i mean for for reason it will show you ordering okay the specific longitudinal reinforcement grade too high a specific concrete grade too low they have many reason okay but uh, the warning means not failure okay warning means means not failure it will show you just warning okay but it will not affect very badly for your structure so press ok and after that click here click here to design your element just click here on wet okay just see here there have no failure in our model okay there have no failure in our model just see here and uh, close that just come here and click here design data tabular data and just see here it's showing our every column have passed every column have passed for our that model our every column passed so if we go in beam so our maximum beam have passed but some beam are showing earning so that's not a big deal so if we click here detail just come here our every model have passed here just see final status the blue sign means our beam have passed so actually they have no warning so if I show that value so they have no warning actually okay for our any beams they have no problem here so if you come here um, if we if you see here this is a B this is the one uh, one two and here on sorry one two three four okay so they have um, our three B one beam panel from that point to that point at one two three four and you are seeing that our length this that two length are showing awning the two length are showing awning because we have provided the extension of it that's why it's showing warning but um, if we see here detail drawing if we just click here it will open in AutoCAD I will uh, show you detail in our another uh, next video that what will be or just see here it's nothing but um, they have reinforcement um, reinforcement here also so nothing to worry about that it's showing us about this reinforcement and uh, if we see here what is our section here actually three uh, number three so three into number three bar in six okay so what is the support name this is ABC and our support one this is for two this is for three this is for four this is for uh, three also so just uh, if you see here here is a reinforcement okay for top for our mm, that cross section and for here it's showing our reinforcement and also it's showing reinforcement okay so again we come here here it's showing our reinforcement and also the strap detailing and here if you see that there is a total reinforcement grand total okay so um, for that beam our total requirement of reinforcement is 0 0.125 ton okay
so I'll just close it no so I, I have just shown you that um, this warning means nothing and nothing to worry about that so I'll just go here in our 3d view here now uh, here uh, if you click here and uh, after that if you click here draw okay so from here you can uh, see wall column from here uh, they have a option that wall column schedule okay so they have uh, whose column they have we can find out its schedule uh, so I will show you about that in for another video but before that I'll go for your slab check and after that I will show that it, it is okay or not and um, how will pass that so I'll go here design okay so click here design slab and after see that this is impossible or every slab are being failed or every slab are failing so it's doing directly failing they have no warning or anything error it's directly failing okay or every slab are directly failing here so for that how will pass that actually I have provided uh, if I double click here I have provided our slab thickness in 5 inch okay I have provided our slab thickness 5 inch so I'll increase that slab thickness then I will see what happened so press control and select that select that select that and select that for top floor I will do first so from here uh, if we go down here 5 inch I'll just change it I will change it it's uh, 6 inch okay sorry a uh, 5 point 5 inch okay. then 11 divided by 2 okay so if I double click here now it show that 5 feet 5 point half so press ok now again click here uh, design and also click here slab design then just see that then uh, that that slab and also that slab are passing if I double click here I mean say if I right click here and here check panel it's passing but uh, if I right click here check panel here uh, actually here our depth check is not okay our uh, is minimum here is minimum is almost uh, over 6 inch but I have provided 5.5 inch so close that and over again select that wall slab okay select um, from here wall slab and increase its slab thickness is 6 for 6 1 divided by 2 okay 6 1 divided by 2 if I double click here 6 1 divided by 2 inch now if we again go here for our concrete design check so design concrete now go here design slab just see here now our every slab have passed okay our every slab have passed here we are seeing that our every slab have passed so if I just click here so it's done then design it's done actually okay it's done so now uh, I again it's that that is top I'll go now for our um, that floor and here if I show that it's failing also so again I will right click and I'll check what is the issue here and for depth check it's showing it's required is minimum five 
more than 5 in and for that slab uh, here uh, actually check panel its depth required okay so we will provide overall depth as 2. Point. Uh, from here 6.5 also 6 1 divided by 2 enter and click outside then just go here design and click here design slab just click here and click on design slab uh, sorry we have to analyze that after check, change it if I double click here see it's okay just see that now it's sorry sorry it's passing our that slab are also passing so we'll go for our ground floor and here also we'll select oh, sorry cross after that select our wall slab from here and before that just close it escape anything just double click here so go to model and for, for fast fast float select again select so after that go here and change it 6.5 sorry 6 feet space 1 divided by 2 then click here and after that just double click uh, escape and uh, double click or take the slab now it's okay so if we slab or actually it's okay so if we see in 3d or our wall slab are okay so again we'll go for redesign as we have yeah, yeah, increased our slab thickness so it will also increase its load so I'll also go for a redesign just see that they have no failure in our model okay they have no failure in our model actually if you see that that no portion of our structure are being failed so everything have passed I'll close that and after that I'll go here slab design now see that or everything have passed okay or every element have passed so in this way we can do for our slab or our beam design or for anything so in this way we can do that so in our next video I will show you about that how we'll find out that detailing uh, I mean uh, full building detailing and how we'll also find out its quantity so thank you thank you very much yes, stay yes, connected till next video and if you think that that is helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video share our video and leave a comment your comment is very important for us because your comment identify that how we are working so thank you very much.